Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play One Piece Pirate Warriors 3. We're on to like the final couple islands. Oh my god, we're almost done. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I love this game. But man, saying I'm gonna do a 100% Let's Play? Probably a bad idea, looking back. Doesn't matter though, we're gonna be Dolphy. Doflamingo is, of course, kind of the big bad of this game, more so than Teach, and as such, he is much better than Teach. Doflamingo is crazy, crazy, crazy. So, uh, let's see here. So we did, um... So interestingly, this mission actually gets switched out to defeat a thousand enemies, which is a little sad because I really want to do that one. But we're not doing that one right now, we're gonna do the Family of D. They hold all of the keys. Defeat the Family of D. So I guess everyone with D in their name. And you know what? What better character to play as than Doflamingo for this? Well, we're not talking about, like, his name, D. No, we're talking, like, like, Garp, D, Dragon, or whatever. And then we got, no. Monkey D. Luffy. Isn't it Monkey D. Garp? Frick, I forget. I forget how that works. But no, we got a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna do here. Um, we don't have anything else to give him for now. But we're gonna go and, uh, let's see here. We're gonna check over his stuff. So he has the string string fruit, and it lets you do parasite stuff, and as well as other stuff, and you'll just see. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, let's go. Remember, we do have to get our S rank. I gotta say, Doflamingo is not the character I expected when I first saw him. Also, this is his run. It is stupid fast. So let's see here. He is, he's actually way different than I thought he would be. Like, in terms of character, in terms of how he plays, he can create clones of himself. He is insane. And Parasite, right here. Just Parasited them all. Like, look at that. Like, guys, he's really good. He's a hype character. He's a character that I play as and I get super hyped. With R1, you can actually throw off any characters that are Parasited, I'm pretty sure is what it is. Um, or so you do something with them. It's like I use it and then they all go. It's boom. That's all you need. So I want to get I want to get this meter up first before I do anything else. But you yeah, know he's flying around. He's flipping. He has very little regard for physics, and he's awesome. And I recommend definitely unlocking him as soon as possible because he's super fun. He can actually get characters to run around and actually just crash into each other, and that's how they damage each other. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Meter up. Everyone around him gets parasited, which is awesome for a little bit. He gets faster. Look at this. Look at this speed. Like, that's too fast. Where is he? Where's Garp? Yeah, but since Garp's name is D, a lot of people think he's going to be, uh breaking away from the marines and actually someone said you know how his taunt lets him take off his marines coat and then never gets put back on if you use it again people think that from at least from one of the comments is that it symbolizes like how he's gonna break away and then from there um you know like join not join the straw hats but be a, i don't know be interesting overheat is his level one it's actually super huge radius for a level one pirates have appeared and occupied the shore well, okay. Good for you. Oh, they've started a party. Why would I stop them? I mean, aside from to the kill them and get more of the, uh, the beat marks, you know. But, like, look at this speed. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better in, in a group than, than with one person. He also has hockey, which is incredible. Like, look at that. It's just an explosion. He can just explode. Oh, and that, where he just flies. It's so good. Oh my god, I love him actually so much. He's so good. Uh, let's blow up this room. Oh, it's so good when a game has no idea what's happening. Let's try using our... So that's that one. This is a parasite one. And then he hockeys and it explodes and it's really good. Mm. 
We defeated a, already a thousand, which is going well. But yeah, as you can see, like it, it gets all these people in a line. He's really cool. He's way faster than I feel like he should be. Because he was never really moving this super speed, I feel, in the stuff. Then again, I, I'm just watching the anime and stuff, so I don't know, it's a little hard to get a represented representation. I mean, to be fair though, he did fight against Bound Men, which is... Yeah, that that's fast, so it's understandable. I don't want to kill Whitebeard, per se, because I want to get a bunch of... Uh, there we go, Max, that's what I want. Just so that all the peons around him can be uh, whacked thusly. Okay, oh man. Let's see here. We just hockeyed on Whitebeard and it nearly killed him. Oh, and now he's comboing us. That's not good. Whitebeard's going down though right here. Yeah. Oh, dude, we parasited Whitebeard. Guys, it's, oh, it's so good. He's so good. God, after playing his Teach last part, he was so slow. This is this is what I feel the villain should be like, you know? For sure. He's, he's so fast and terrifying, you know? I definitely much prefer him. I hope they don't nerf him like they did Teach. Like, Teach, they, they nerfed from the last game. You know, I, I definitely feel like. But, you know, this is good. Like, look at the range on that Parasite there. Like, it's really big. Yeah, like, look. There, see, like, I got a bunch of people, and they're all just spinning around, flipping everywhere. I guess I could show off his level 2. It's a birdcage. It's the. It's exactly, you know, what the birdcage is, except definitely on a much smaller scale, so... Torao? I thought it was Tragai or Troll. That's a third translation for that nickname. Guys, pick one. Jeez. Yeah, well, they're working together though, so we can get them both together on our side. By, by, I mean, on our side, I mean kill them. That's what I meant. God, it's so fun. He's fun. I was very happy, like, you know, you, you, I'm actually always a little apprehensive about playing as a new, like, warrior character, because I'm always worried that they might not be as fun as others, but man, every time you try a new one, it's like, no, they're all fun. There's like very rarely one that's not just fun to play as. I mean, especially, like, look at the speed. Let's get Luffy here. Sadly, there was no Gear 4 in this game, but I feel like definitely the next one it'll be a main thing. You know, I'm, I wouldn't be, I'd be surprised if they, because they're making Gear 4 a separate playable character for Burning Blood, right? I wouldn't be surprised if they do that for this too, because it's so different, you know? It wouldn't work as just another transformation. Like, it just, they would have to totally make him a separate character. So how are we doing for our, our everything? Um... We just need, uh, 500 more K or 400 almost. Well, now 400, exactly. Well, no, a little less than 400. Numbers are fun. See, a birdcage does, uh, around you, and just, it's, it works really good, you know? It's a room clear, basically. <laughs> I will say, um, I'm a little sad there's no pre-time skip Doflamingo in this, but it's, it's, it feels like they kind of mixed up his designs a little, like, mixed up as in, like, you know, put them a bit together in this one. Um, I don't know. Like, it d doesn't feel, like, the hair design difference between pre- and post-time skip are, like, they're different. And I almost like his pre-time skip one a bit more, but it feels like they kind of incorporated a bit of how it looks into this, so that they couldn't have to, um... Like, his, his shirt design's different, but just how by how his hair looks, it's, you know, a little different, so... Oh well. You know. For a lot of characters, it's like, they could have put in a pre-time skip version and it would have been easy, but for other ones, it's like, it's whatever. It's not the biggest deal that they didn't. 
It's not like it's, you know, this game doesn't isn't replacing the official continuity. It's just a representation of the official continuity. Okay, so we got our thing, so let's leave. Let's go. Okay, no, let's, we don't have to get on him anymore. Get off that. There we go. Yeah, like, he's, he's faster than you think, but at the same time, not, he's not the speediest. Like, he's fast, but he's not as brutally speedy as I'd like him to be. Teach is already almost dead, wow. What? He- okay, so he's not- he's definitely not the boss, considering he didn't have any life bar segment things. Also, the fact that the mission's still not done. Yeah, I know, so he has Conqueror's Hacky and will not be afraid to use it. It's really cool, I like that that's in his moveset. But man, freaking wait till we get to Shanks, his moveset mostly comprises of hockey. Yeah, so if it wasn't Teach, then who could it be? Watch it be Doflamingo. Oh, is it Kizaru in the end? Oh no, it's Ace. Okay. Let's go get him. So you can like cancel that that running thing by using it and it flings them and it's hey, that was a good strategy. Now it's making our way up to Ace to get him. Not super far. Just air walking across the battlefield. His hairy legs are a, are a good design choice because it's just so weird. Like it, it's such a strange choice. He's a really weirdly designed character. He plays with all of your expectations, you know? Like, he looks like sort of a cartoony comedy character, and with, with the nickname Joker, you really expect him to be like the Joker, you know? But no, he's super serious. You know, he's, he's as serious as they come for characters. And he has, like, all sorts of really importance with, with the plot. Also, he has, like, the, the armor uh, hardening hacky, which he uses for his light heavy here. When he punches, it's it's the, uh, or oh, I couldn't use it, but it's the hardening, which is actually, you know, it's, it's shown visibly. So we're just about done here. Where is he? Let's finish him off. This might kill him. I mean, we got these dudes on our team, so we'll see. Also, it holds them in place with the, uh, no it didn't, with Dofi's power, so that's really good. That's the way to win. There we go. Victory! Are you guys seriously still attacking me? That is a terrible choice. God, his face also never changes, which is kind of creepy, but I, I like it. It's a good choice. There we go. We're so close to getting all S ranks, which will give us a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, we're almost there! Well, guys, we only really have, like... Well, okay, no, we have exactly five videos left. We're almost done. Next up, we have True Pirate Warriors. This island lies at the very ends of the sea. Win the life or death struggle that awaits and become a world-famous peerless champion. There's only one character who I think I might be able to beat this with. So we'll see you all next time, guys, for some more Pirate Warriors 3. Ciao!